Okay, thank you for uh, viewing this video. I'm going to show you a way to get Dragon at level 3 with Xin Yao. And it probably is a way to get it at level 2, but this is the way I found. To the arena! And, um, it's a little bit touchy with Xin Yao, but I normally try to find a way where you can have a, a good amount of health after killing Dragon, but, you know, Xin Yao can still jungle immediately, which is another goal I wanted, where you don't have to back, like you just go straight into the jungle. He can do that, but, you know, the chances of if an enemy jungler happens to be walking by and your health being adequate is not such high chances. So. But hey, it's very early in the game, so the ch you know maybe they won't be walking by, who knows. But yeah, I'm basically using the same setup as I use with Master Yi, and um... It just gives me to see the Master Yi video. I'm using like I'm trying to go for damage and um, you know in the attack speed so I can manipulate his kick primarily because of the attack speed. And um, same thing, the armor and uh, attack speed, quints and marks and uh, seals and glyphs, uh, armor. So yeah, Zinyao, his W every third attack um, heals him. While um, activate gives him more attack speed, and then his Q helps give him extra damage. It has a little uh, CC to it. So, it is fun finding all these champs that can get the dragon, and in this format, right, with the way things are. It feels like a lot of champs to get dragon early, especially if you go from if you go straight from blue buff to dragon, like any champ that can do that. If I'm overlooking a champ that can do that, if they go from blue buff straight to dragon, they guarantee guarantee two smites for dragon. So you know you could think about that. That's twice the true damage. All right. And as like I say, you can always, uh, isn't, my setup is just what I found, um, but you know, it's not, it's not like, um, if you don't do it the way I do it, then you're not going to get it at all. It's just what I found. And I'm always looking for a safer way, so if you find a risky way that tends to get dragon much quicker, then maybe you could go for it, sure. I'm just, uh, safe playing it with the setups I find. And of course, the good thing is, even though um, you know I don't got the fancy editing uh, skills or whatever, at least you can guaranteed see what I'm working with and what I do to get the dragons and stuff. So you don't have to worry about you know something awry. I show you from when I spawn to when I get the first level up, second, third dragon. So you know how I did it. If you want to follow the exact steps I did, then you could. And if you want to add your own vanilla twist to it, then you could do that too. But you know, there's no tricks here. The video starts at yeah. The video starts with me at spawn, not with me at dragon. So there you go. I've started with Q before, but I'm gonna try W. So I'm doing this for the first time. <laughs> It's gonna work with Q. I just want to see what the, you know the benefits of W. Because with Warwick, I like starting his W. Because his the way his kit works. So this might it might be Warwick esque. Oh, and keep in mind that any, time, any leashes you get would only improve all these runs because of the fact that um, the quicker you get to Dragon, the less health Dragon would have because every minute Dragon gains more health. So that's just something important to keep in mind. So it seems like starting W because when I started Q, I had a lot less health. So see if starting W is going to be safe to, safest to do. And 
them dogs. Or wolves, technically. Pop a health pot. Ah, it's not that wrong. You smite the red buff just to gain some health out of it. Then I go into another W. I mean, sure, the, the bonus damage is good with this, but I just want to get the most health played safe and all that stuff. So that's why I say the, the way I do it isn't the concrete way. It's just, you know, I'm. I'm just trying to play it safe. Ah. And as you can as you can see, the sustain that W gives them is good. that health pot and dead so I got a health pot helping me I got two the health is pretty low so that's why I said um, it's a little bit to worry but can you definitely go into jungle yes you can this is Zin Yao with his pass with that the W's passive so you're gonna be okay and you see seeing them with that Q so just keep that all in mind And once again, if you don't feel comfortable, like I said, the reason why I'll, I'll go that um, the extra 40 gold in the utility tree is just so you can have the health pot. So yeah, look, see, we nothing to be afraid of. Continue jungling, no problem. So that's the beauty behind uh, these champs I've been using is that they can just go straight into the jungle and you don't have to worry too much. But there you go, that's Zen Yao level 3, and there's probably, if you're like a, you know, master at this game, there's probably a way to do it at level 2, being that, you know, you get to sustain. I mean, I, you could get, since it scales with AP, you probably could just add some AP stuff, but why would you do that, right? In the long run, why would you do that? But a lot of times you hear people say things like runes and masteries, they're just for the beginning of the game while your items make the end of the game, like, you know, the mid to end of the game. So if that's how you see it, then sure, start <laughs> start with some AP. So that way you have, like, Uber sustained with him. And then, um, and then like, you buy your items, and your items will define who you are later in the game. And when you think about it, since it is his passive, it, it, it will pay, play a form of relevancy. I mean, you know, you'll always, you'll always be gaining more health anyway. But it's like I said... Play around with it, do as you wish. Who knows what can end up being meta out of nowhere, right? All right, so there you go. There's a Zin Yao, level three dragon, and you can continue uh, jungling, you know, but you just gotta be worried about a, a pedestrian. You know what I'm saying? That's about it. All right, okay, so thank you for watching, and there will be more videos in the future.